Hey, what's going on guys? Edo here with another video. Some of you may know that your DJI drones are actually calibrated one last time before they are sent to you after your purchase. This essentially allows your drone to be as up to date as possible to ensure maximum reliability upon unboxing your new drone. However, the sensors do in fact need to be revisited a couple months down the line from your purchase. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys all the steps necessary in order to recalibrate your vision system aka your sensors. By the end of this video, your drone will be as good as new. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. In order to successfully calibrate your vision system, you're going to need four key things. First, your drone, of course. Second of all, the wire that comes with it, or in this case, a USB 3 to USB-C, a computer, and DJI Assistant app. All right guys, so the first step is to download the DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic. The link can be found down below in the description. Always make sure you're visiting the legitimate DJI website. So once we have this page loaded up, let's just go ahead and download this. Okay, so now we can go ahead and plug in our wire into the back of our computer. Okay, so now that we have this open, we go ahead and connect it. Log in here. Turn on the Mavic. Okay, so it appears that it found it. So we are gonna click on Mavic 2 Pro. Also got extremely important, make sure that your battery is at least 75% or 50% during this process. So this happens way too often, guys, where the drone will just say that it's not connected. So you just have to keep on connecting, disconnecting, connecting, disconnecting until it works. So in this case, disconnecting it didn't work, so I tried shutting down my drone. And now I'm gonna turn it on again and see if that makes any difference. Also important, important to note, remember to take off the uh, gimbal cover. Okay, so the next step is to go on calibration. We're gonna start with our front sensors. And as it shows us up here, how to position the Mavic. So in this case, it wants us to keep it like this. And as you can see, there are four green uh, corners and the red corners are our Mavic until it's positioned correctly. So when it's positioned correctly, it's gonna turn green. So we start like this, we go in like that. If you don't see anything, get closer, closer, closer. Then go back a bit, there. So now as soon as it finds it, you're gonna see some blue squares and all you have to do is slowly follow the squares. Don't go too fast because if you go too fast, you're going to lose all the squares and you're gonna to have to start again. Okay, so if you go too fast, it says move the aircraft to the center of the screen. So let's try that again, move closer. And remember, once you find the, the point, do not go forward, do not go backwards because otherwise you're gonna to have to start all over again. So just be very patient with this. You know, you're, you're finally getting a shoulder workout for the first time in your life, so you can't complain that much, right? So keep going. Keep the drone the same distance from the screen as before. Almost there. Boom, so that was the first one. And always, always refer to this up here. It's gonna tell you what to do next. So now it wants us to do it again. So stay in that same distance there. Okay, so now it is time to calibrate these sensors right here. And by doing so, again, always follow this. So you start from here and you start to go here and move closer to align the things. And as soon as they're aligned, do not move from this position. Just follow, just tilt and pan essentially. See, I, I move too much. Get, make sure you're in the middle of the screen. This is also a reason, guys, why you should have a fully charged battery before you do this. Because you may fail 15 times and then you're gonna have to stop to charge your battery if you're not careful. So that's my tip to you. Hopefully this time it works. Perfect. Okay, so now it's time for the back sensors here. It gives you the prompt, it, give, it gives you a countdown here. So I'm just gonna wait. So the last position was this. 
So now I'm going to turn like that. See the squares? Boom, don't move, same deal. Okay, time for the rear cameras now, which are these ones. It's the side cameras. So it tells you to fold the legs, but be careful because your wire is here. So what you can do is start with the first one here. So this is poorly designed. This leg is trying to close, but the wire is there. So make sure the leg is not pushing against the wire too much. The last thing you want is for your USB-C to break and get stuck in the drone. So just kind of rest it against the wire there. Maybe hold the leg off a bit while you're doing this. Okay, so here we go. Get those propellers out of the way. Ideally, you wanna remove the propellers when you're doing this. I kind of forgot to do that. So you guys could tell there, my the screen was actually freezing and that's because I think this is the sensor that needs the most amount of attention. So it's really good that we're doing this because of these things. You don't want the sensor to fail on you on the field, correct? So now we're gonna do the same sensor, but on the other side. And in order to keep that wire safe, I'm just gonna reopen that leg there. I move too fast, guys, I move too fast. All right, so now, as soon as that's completed, it's going to load and calibrate and it says it's 100% completed. Thank you for watching this video, guys. By the end of this video, you should have a perfectly calibrated vision system as well as giant shoulders from holding up your drone for so long. If you found this video helpful, make sure to support me by liking and subscribing to this channel. And as always, if you're interested to know all the gear that I use to shoot my videos as well as my drone videos, that's also in the link down below. So make sure to check that out and I'll see you guys in the next video.